Joe, I mentioned in our introduction that you were on the cover of The New Republic as the man who reinvented campaigning, and that really took place during the Howard Dean campaign. How did it all come, come about, though, that you saw the power of the Internet? Well, I gr grew up in Silicon Valley, I mean, in terms of college, aeronautical engineering, so I, and I had sort of always straddled politics and technology uh, mm -hmm. when I was studying and things. And so I guess by 2004, I was, there are a lot of people in politics who don't understand anything about technology. And there are a lot of people in technology in Silicon Valley who don't understand anything about politics. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess, understood enough about both places by 2004 that I was dangerous, <laughs> 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 that, it, that something crazy was going to happen. So right. we ended up, it, you know, what happened was the, it was the Dean campaign. I, I finally got a chance to run a campaign. The, most of the other presidential campaigns, I'd run a state or, uh, you know, was the field director or an organizer. But by 2004, I was, actually got the chance to run one. And I'd always had this fantasy of running one using technology to pull people together and empower them to to sort of be the messengers for the candidate. And uh, it, it, it kind of worked. I mean, we went from dead last to, to front runner status before we, we, we fell apart. Uh, but it also, I think, provided some of the launch pad for Barack Obama's camp. I mean, they, mm -hmm. they, they followed a lot of the same techniques and, and uh, strategy that, uh, tactics that we did in the, uh, in the Dean campaign. And most of the, a lot of the, people in the so, who worked the social media and internet part of the campaign for him were people who had worked in the Dean campaign that worked under me. We, uh, we invented it all together and mm -hmm. then they went on and, uh, and helped uh, uh, Obama in 2008. Some of them were s still there in 2012. So right. uh, I think, uh, I don't know if I reinvented campaigning or not, but I, I sure think uh, uh, since that campaign, politics really has changed and the way the internet and social media does empower people to uh, take part in, in politics. We're seeing it on both sides now in the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we had a good head start because of the Dean campaign on, on my side of the aisle. Absolutely. Now, how much has even new media, social media, changed since you saw it in 2004? Oh, I mean, everything's changed. I mean, 2004, when we were running the Dean campaign, we had uh, uh, Facebook was on a college campus or two. Mm -hmm. Twitter didn't exist. The iPhone uh, wasn't uh, launched until 2007, uh, about a year before Obama. I mean, so we had none. Smartphones didn't exist. None of the YouTube. YouTube did not exist in 2004. Uh, people didn't have broadband. They weren't watching TV shows over the Internet. Um, you know, now people can watch your channel over the, over, over the net if they want. Um, I can come down here um, and actually be on the air for Fox mm -hmm. by, because of the technology that's changed be, just between 2004 and today. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you, you know, it, so it's really interesting how it's all changed. And that, the problem is trying to predict where it'll be four years from now. I mean, yeah. You, you, that's uh, th that when if you'd asked me in 2004 the day the Dean campaign was over what's 2008 going to look like will I am doing a video that millions of Americans watched um, the yes I can yes we can vi video that uh, for Obama that he created that wouldn't have been possible in 2004 mm -hmm. and I'm not sure I would as somebody who had helped pioneer it I'm not sure I would have been able to see that that's how big a shift in that small amount of time um, so no, it's it's a uh, it's that's the the thing I think, as much as we're sort of stunned with the power of the Obama campaign and what they were able to do in 2008 and 2012, I think by 2016 somebody's going to make that look like mm -hmm. a joke, mm -hmm. uh, just like the Obama 2012 campaign makes the Dean campaign. We were the big pioneers. Mm -hmm. We were the Wright brothers in a little rubber band uh, for a motor. Uh, 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 you, you know, twigs for an uh, airplane, uh, they launched a, a guy into the White House uh, just four years later. So it, I think you're going to see that same kind of, they're, they're going to look like the guys doing it with a one prop uh, rubber band mm -hmm. uh, for four to eight years from now. Somebody's going to have harnessed all this in a way that we wouldn't have imagined and become president of the United States. Might be Hillary Clinton, might be Marco Rubio, but one of, somebody um, I think will take it to the even to the next step. Mm -hmm. Now, how would you say that Republicans and Democrats differ in their use of social networks? 
Well, I think two problems. The Democrat, we, we were out uh, when George Bush was president, so in a lot of the big money wasn't with us. Um, I, one of the reasons the Dean campaign went to the internet was because no one was going to give us a dime. None of the big money people were. So out of necessity, we developed this new, you know, trying to get a bunch of people give us five dollars or ten dollars. Uh, and then, uh, and the Republicans just didn't need to do that. George Bush had pioneers and rangers raising him hundreds of thousands of dollars, writing the big checks. And that worked great, except it put them way behind um, in this new technology. Uh, they're now eight, 12 years behind the Democrats. We only went there out of necessity. It wasn't because uh, we were like more brilliant or visionary. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to, you know, pound, oh yeah, we, saw. <laughs> but I mean, we went there because we had to, uh, and it worked. And then, uh, but the Republicans tended to ignore it because, and even the Clintons did in 2008. They, they knew how to elect a president. They had done it in 92 and 96. So they mm -hmm. didn't see the need to do what Howard Dean did or to pay a whole lot of attention to what Barack Obama, a state senator a couple years, you know, earlier mm -hmm. had, was doing on this internet. It's a mm -hmm. fad thing. Mm -hmm. And it, well, no, people got religion after, um, after Obama defeated Hillary Clinton in 2008. I think both uh, she did. Uh, she did, really understood social media as Secretary of State, but also the Republicans started to think maybe we need to to do something there. Although they still didn't really uh, jump on it the way I I would have if I were them. And I think they're very far behind uh, the Democratic Party, and maybe behind for many years. I mean, Barnes and Noble never really did catch Amazon.com, and. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's sort of what's going on here. The Democrats right now are Amazon.com, and the and the Republican Party is sort of still in uh, bricks and mortar bookstores, um, and haven't even launched the Nook yet. Mm -hmm. So I, I I mean I think we'll see how that plays out, but it hasn't worked for them the last uh, last few elections. Very true. They need to get it together for yeah. 2016. Yes. All right, we're going to be talking more, Joe. We're going to take a quick break right now, so don't go away. There's much more to come.